Main man, made man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing, man. We are back. Ladies and gentlemen, there is going to be an explosive weekend of boxing that we have coming up this weekend, man. We got some good fucking fights coming up this weekend. Real talk, man. It's just going to be awesome this weekend. It's going to be so lit. Do not miss your boxing this particular weekend, ladies and gentlemen. And one of those fights that's going to be going down... Uh, is a fight that quite honestly, and this is the reason I guess I'm doing this video first, is a fight that I honestly did not plan on talking about whatsoever, man. Um, it's a UK fight, David Hay versus Tony Bellew. You know, my thing is, the reason I wasn't going to talk about this fight is simply because I see this fight as nothing more and nothing less than an opportunistic, hyped up, puffed up circus. You know what I'm saying? And that is the reason I didn't really want to touch this fight. But however, one of my supporters, and you know who you are, requested that I, you know, see, he, he asked me how did I feel about this particular fight. And me, I respect my all of my supporters to the fullest. And if they ask something of me, I'll do it. I have no problem with it, man. And this is the fight that he wanted me to talk about. So, Let's get into it, man. Uh, David Hay, first and foremost, never been my favorite heavyweight by far. For anyone who's been a fan of this channel, y'all obviously I rarely talk about David Hay. But however, I don't diminish David Hay's skills whatsoever. The reason I, ne I never talk about David Hay because he be so full of shit, man. You know what I'm saying? He, he he wants big fights, but then he backs out of big fights. Then he looks for big money fights. You know, it's 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 never a consistent theme with David Hay. He got a bag of injuries on him. One minute is his shoulder, next minute is his back. Then it's his finger, then it's his toe, and now it's his Achilles. You know what I mean? There are just it's just always some shit when it comes down with David Hay. As a matter of fact, uh Eddie Hearn, uh the promoter of Tony Bellew, he's out today with an interview and he's stating the same thing that I'm saying, man. Every time David Hay has to make a fight, it's always some shit or some crap that happens to come up. You know what I mean? One of the more recent things that we've heard is that David Hay is taking trips over to Germany in which he goes over he likes to go over there to see like a world renowned doctor, a sports doctor that that does some good healing work in they saying he's been taking a lot of trips over there recently, as recently as I believe this week. You know what I mean? And there, there's some rumblings about possibly his Achilles has gotten injured in training or in training camp. And some people are scared that he just might pull out of this particular fight. Now, according to Eddie Hearn, if David Hay somehow, some way does some crazy stuff and try to pull out of this fight, he will never fight in the UK again strong strong words in a strong strong position coming out from Eddie Hearn see that's why I fucks with Eddie Hearn man he is a hell of a promoter man he is going to get David Hay into that ring one way or another you make him mess over all of those other guys that you fought in the past at one time or another David Hay but when it comes down to Eddie Hearn and his fighters he ain't letting you back out of this shit and if you do the consequences are going to be severe man but um you know David Hay is done this in the past he said and this is the reason why people are so nervous when it comes to facing David Hay you know what I mean not to mention he's in some hot water right now because at the last press conference that he had with Tony Bellew he actually you know disrespected the fans of Tony Bellew they were their mob deep man they were loud they were turnt they were lit man and fucking David Hay called them all retards you know what I'm saying he called them retards and, and in the UK where they really pride themselves on decorum man they pride themselves on on, you know, respect and, and stuff like that. They don't play that type of trash talk, man. You could talk all the trash you want back and forth, but when you just insulting people in general, man, that's one thing that the UK does not play. You know what I mean? So he's in some shit over that. However, I don't think it will impede the fight whatsoever. I don't even think no penalties will be involved with that particular thing, man. But David Hayes' track record is so shaky, man. He pulled out of fights with Tyson Fury, not once, but twice. And uh, he claimed injury in, in that particular case. Uh, before he he fought Vladimir Klitschko and lost. He pulled, you know, he was supposed to fight Vladimir Klitschko before that, and he pulled out of that fight, claiming injury. You know what I'm saying? And then on top of all of that. He turns around and he see my main man Shannon the Cannon getting back, getting his popularity back up. He got that slogan, let's go champ. He's everywhere using it. He's chasing down fighters. He is building his popularity back up. The UK fan base uh, especially took notice to it. And now he's kind of, you know, he's getting back into the mix of things. And 
It was said by David, hey, if Shannon the Cannon fought on his undercard when he was fighting against some bum, you know what I'm saying? If he fought on his undercard and he beat the guy, that he would give him a fight. Well, guess what? Shannon the Cannon did just that, man. Beat the dude, turned around, David Hay opted out of the fucking fight. You know what I'm saying? Now, this is what makes it so messed up, man, is that David Hay is the number one contender by the WBO in the heavyweight division in which the champion now newly crowned champion Joseph Parker now Joseph Parker and his entire team made it evidently clear they would love to get a fight with David Hay I repeat love to get a fight with David Hay man they've been watching him for some time they know how big that fight would be for Joseph Parker they would love that fight as opposed to now uh that they're looking to possibly face Tyson Fury's cousin Huey, Huey Fury and this is for the reason because David Hay for whatever reason did not want to face Joseph Parker that is a championship fight. That is a title fight, ladies and gentlemen. And he does not want to face Joseph Parker. But instead, he pivots and he rather bring up a cruiserweight. Take in mind, Tony Bellew is a cruiserweight. He has never, I repeat, never campaigned in the heavyweight division. He, he, he turns down the title fight with Joseph Parker and now turns around and fights a cruiserweight because i guess the money is more right and it would make sense now in this particular case it's almost like amir khan and, and kel brook because i think david hay feels as though uh joseph parker exposed himself so much and and letting the public know that he wanted that fight so bad which is a big no-no in the sport of boxing and he came out with it and let the world know i would love and he would love to really love to have that fight so david hay is probably playing his cards and saying i can stop for a second Go and grab this bag of money by beating this cruiserweight, right? And then turn around and try to get the fight with Joseph Parker. Well, that's a big risk. Or either Huey Fury if they make the fight. Because Huey Fury now is right behind David Hay, ladies and gentlemen. I think he's either number two or number three or something like that. And um, he's right behind David Hay. So they went to the very next guy, given that David Hay did not want the fight. You know what I mean? So it's just like that, man. He's a fucking opportunist, man. He's done so much fucked up stuff. And so I'm not the biggest fan of David Hay. Now, take in mind, though, ladies and gentlemen, I'm speaking outside of the ring. Inside of the ring, I consider David Hay a pretty skilled fighter. He's fast. He's quick. He has decent power. I mean, he even knocked out one of them bums with a jab. You know what I'm saying? So I consider David Hay to be a pretty decently skilled fighter. But outside the ring, man, he is just a fuck boy to me. You know what I'm saying? And that's just being quite 100% honest with you, man. Now, let's pivot to Tony Bellew for a second. Now, Tony Bellew... The thing with this guy that 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 he's a, he's a fucking opportunist too. You know what I'm saying? He he's trying to act like he is this taking the moral high ground. He is above all of this trash talk that David Hay. Man, he has lobbied out some pretty heavy charges against David Hay. Not to mention after most of his wins, he is a a foul mouth, loud mouth sob. You know what I mean? But now he wants to claim the moral high ground. You know what I mean? But he's an opportunist also. You know he accuses David Hay of being this big opportunist and all this other extra jazz and he's broken and he's throwing all these charges. I don't, what the fuck are you doing, dude? You are the same guy that literally came out publicly and said, hey, I got 12 months left in boxing. 12 months left in boxing. You say that David Hay is technically a cruiserweight, right? Not technically. He's a small heavyweight. He's not a big heavyweight. So he's technically a cruiserweight in your eyes that's puffed himself up, right? And he went up to the heavyweight division to grab bigger names and bigger money and bigger fights. Well, what the hell are you doing then, Tony Bell? You, you are cruiserweight champion. And you possibly have expired at cruiserweight. I don't know, man. But the fact is, the only reason that you are to decide to go up to heavyweight to face uh, 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 David Hay is to make the money. You got 12 months left in boxing, right? Like Eddie Hearn said in this new uh, in an interview that he has out now. Tony Bellew, if he wins this, when he takes this fight, he is set financially for the rest of his life, ladies and gentlemen. So this is exactly the reason why Tony Bellew is going up to heavyweight to face David Hay. These neither you know these guys are not ranked in the same sanctioning body. They're not ranked at all. You know. This is purely nothing more, nothing less than a grudge match, man. Than a simple grudge match, man. But like I said before, 
Tony Bellew, who's the WBC Cruiserweight Champion, he, is, he act like he's claiming the high ground while on the uh, on, in one hand, but on the other hand, he's insulting David Hay crazy. Like, he called David Hay a clown uh, for bragging about putting fighters in a hospital, which is some clown shit. You know, David Hay was bragging that he would uh, he could possibly kill Tony Bellew, and he, he's put other fighters in a hospital, and he can put you in a hospital. And, 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 and Tony Bellew called him a clown for that, man. He says David Hay is broke. He says... Uh, David Hay is shrinking because uh, there's going to be VADA testing in this particular fight. So by uh, David Hay now using VADA testing, it's seeming like his body has gotten smaller. His mass has shrunk. So he's basically accusing David Hay of being uh, doped up in the past. I'm guessing he's trying to allude to, you know what I'm saying? Um he calls him a broken man because of all the, I don't know if he's saying that because of all the injuries that David Hay has sustained. And, um, you know, like I said earlier in the vid, David Hay has been taking plenty of trips over to Germany. And some people are rumored to say he's getting his Achilles worked on and, uh, you know, because he sustained an injury in training camp. And there's a chance that he may pull out of this fight. I just don't think that happened, man. Um, he says David Hay has a low gas tank. He says David Hay is a basically six to seven round fighter. And once you take him into the deep water, and drown him, uh, David Hay runs low on gas. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he says that... Um he suggested that Hay may still have uh, shoulder issues. Um, he suggested, you know, he suggested a lot of things. He called David Hayes comeback pathetic. You know what I'm saying? So he's lobbied just as many charges and, and insults to David Hay as David Hay is lobbied back at him. You know what I'm saying? I understand perfectly where Tony Bellew is, is, is basically coming from. But, you know, Tony Bellew called out David Hay. It wasn't it wasn't vice versa. It was Tony Bellew that called out David Hay after he beat B.J. Flores. And B.J. Flores is a friend of David Hay. So with the first thing David Hay who was ringside and I ain't saying that these two ain't talk before the fight and kind of come up with this but I'm just saying David Hay was ringside and the first thing that Tony Bellew did was call out David Hay right there to his face man. So you know um, you know, it is what it is, man, and David Hay accepted, but it's just like, though, man, this fight means nothing, it's for a bag of money, I, I don't want to just see a, a heavyweight fight, a cruiserweight, uh, just, just to see both of them fucking get rich, man, like, there ain't no rivalry here, man, and all of this stuff, you know, whatever the fuck, man, let's go to the styles, man, first and foremost, Tony Bellew, man, you know, I just don't see much of a path of victory, for Tony Bellew in this fight, man, because, if, I mean, the first fight that comes to mind, even though I've watched quite a few of Tony Bellew's fights, but the very first fight that comes to mind when I see him about to fight this fight with David Hay is Adonis Stevenson. And in Adonis Stevenson fight, when Tony Bellew fought Adonis Stevenson, man, Adonis just walked right through Bellew, man, like literally walked right through. And this is when Bellew was down at light heavyweight. He was in a lesser division. So, but he walked right through him, man. And it seems like when... Ever Tony Bellew gets in there with a hard puncher, he develops the style of, I want to set traps. You know what I mean? I want to set traps and try to time my guy coming in, try to time him between his combinations. Man. But it's just that Tony Bellew's speed is just not there, not to mention his accuracy as well. You know what I mean? Um, he doesn't take punches well, man. Like, the dude, when he's in there with a power puncher, he will be backpedaling a lot. And if he gets in there and start to backpedal with David Hay, David Hay is going to knock his freaking block off, man. You know what I'm saying? And this is just being 100 percent with you you know the weight difference is going to be i think there's going to be a major difference there um i just think that everything favors david hay david hay to me hits harder um he hits smarter he punches smarter he does gas out in the later rounds though ladies and gentlemen which is something i find interesting but um unless tony bell is going to kind of you know try to drag the fight into the deeper waters I don't know if he makes it to that to that point in the fight. You know, I don't know if he makes it to the second or to the deep waters of the fight. Because if David Hay starts to stalk this dude, man, and he starts to backpedal, I'm telling you, David Hay is going to land one of his famous haymakers. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to be lights out, man. I think David Hay is the is the better boxer. I think David Hay is the more powerful boxer. I think Tony Bellew, uh, he's coming up to a weight that he's never fought at. He's coming up to a division he's never fought at. Um... It's just too many unknowns with this particular situation. Um, I, I just don't see it, man. They're fighting in 10 ounce gloves. Um, David Hay is going to knock this guy's head off. I don't know what, you know, what, what, what was the meaning of that? 
I mean, I, I just don't see. I think this fight goes about six rounds before David Hayes stops Tony Bell, you tr truth be told, man. And uh, don't get me wrong. This is not no big accolades to David Hay. It's just the fact that, yo, he's been fighting at this weight. He's comfortable at fighting at heavyweights. He's fought big fighters. He's fought big monsters. Um, you remember the guy, he took the giant. He took the title off and stuff, man. Like, he's beating these dudes, man. And, and, and though he's not have, have not been in there with the best, aside from Vladimir Klitschko, I still think it's... If David Hay was to get in there with a lot of these guys, uh, I, I truly believe that he'll give them a run for their money if he's 100 percent, because with David Hay, you just never freaking know. You don't know what injuries he's hiding. Uh, we clearly know he's not fighting certain fights like Shannon Briggs. He didn't want to fight Joseph Parker right away. Most of the heavyweight fighters would have jumped at that, uh, that opportunity. You know what I'm saying? So uh, clearly, he, I think the guy still nourishes a lot of injuries and he's just trying to kind of get in where he fit in. If he sees a beatable guy in his eyes such as like a Tony Bellew who's a smaller fighter he would take that fight man but I think David Hay nurtures a lot of injuries and he is just trying to get as much money as he can possibly get before he checks out according to David Hay he's not going to be in boxing for more than two years you know what I'm saying so and you know it's cold it's totally understandable given his age and everything like that and the injuries that he sustained throughout his career man but I just think this is he's, he's going to beat Bellew like he stole something you know what I mean Bellew is a hype train to me man Man, he's true. At least at the, I mean, at the heavyweight division. I mean, the even so, who the fuck did he beat? That what's the guy name? I'm not too familiar with him, and I need to familiarize myself. What was the guy? Mugab, Mugab, Mugabe. I, I heard he was pretty good. You know what I mean? I didn't look much into that, but um, good victory, I guess there. But I mean, that ain't much there, man. I mean, this dude lost to Nathan fucking cleverly, man. Like real talk, man. I ain't, and that was a long time ago. I get it, but I mean. No, oh, man. I just think David Hay beats this kid, man. You can't just come up to the heavyweight division and just jump out there with a guy who's very experienced. David Hay is usually in pretty decent shape. I mean, though he's sustaining and he's nurturing injuries, and clearly Tony Bellew knows all about the injuries of David Hay. I mean, he's throwing it in his face constantly. He's letting them know, like, dude, I, th I think you're injured. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I really think you're injured. I mean, I see all those trips to Germany you're taking, man. You're taking last-minute trips to Germany. But then he asked him at that press conference, are there any injuries that we should know about? You're not going to pull out the fight. And David Hay says no. He is in tip-top condition. He's in tip-top shape. So don't, David Hay can't pull no last-minute pullout, oh, I'm injured, I'm hurt type shit. Hell no, nah, he can't do it because he said clearly as day at that press conference he was good to go, you know. And hats off to Tony Bellew for getting David Hay on the record to actually say that, man. This is going to be, I guess, a good grudge match, man. Um... Who knows, man? Tony Bell, you fuck around and pull off the the, the impossible. I'm not saying that that's too far fetched, given like I said before, we just don't know how really 100% David Hay is, but. I'm going to predict David Hay stops Tony Bellew six round tops. That I don't think it goes past six. And um, if Adonis Stevenson can stop Bellew the way he did, I surely think David Hay would do just the same. And I, I understand, ladies and gentlemen, it was at a lower weight. I get it. But the fact still remains, man. I look at the way he fought that fight, amongst other fights, who were uh, uh, once he stepped in there with pretty hard punches. And when he's in there with hard punches, man, Tony Bellew is just not, you know, he's not as... He's not as good. You know what I'm saying? And he's planning on being very, very elusive in this fight, too, because I guess, you know, with David Hay's shoulder injuries and shoulder problems, he, like he said in the press conference, he plans on making David Hay miss a hell of a lot, possibly trying to get him to throw that shoulder out. And then it's all she wrote. You know what I mean? I mean, hey, that's a that's a long shot of a game plan, but I understand, you know, because Tony Bellew, I don't see him being the aggressor in this fight whatsoever. I think he backpedals. He tries to set traps. He tries to do exactly the way he fought Adonis Stevenson. But the difference is he's going to go down possibly harder, if not numerous of times, man. Real talk. So to the next video, Main Man Made Man. Don't forget to subscribe. Twitter, Made Man 511. Facebook, Main Man Made Man Boxing Forum. Google Plus, Main Man Made Man. You know, the American fan base has never been that warm to David Hay, man, because we all know what the fuck he is, man. I was so happy when Tyson Fury became world champion. Um, he, he put David Hay's ass in queue because when David Hay was world champion, he would not give Tyson Fury the time of day. You know what I'm saying? So hats off to Tyson Fury for taking that stance, man. Um. 
Maybe even David Hay is even trying to see what happens between Joseph Parker and Huey Fury, which uh, I, I hear that fight is not even guaranteed for now. There's a lot of things going on with that fight venue, a drug testing, numerous of things. And also Joseph Parker will prefer a unification match, preferably with Deontay Wilder first. So who knows how things may work out. But either way, if Huey Fury beats Joseph Parker, man, I, I can see David Hay stepping into that fight. But however, if... If uh, Joseph Parker turns around and faces Deontay Wilder, well, you know, David Hayes' chances are pretty much out the freaking window, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? So whatever, man. I'm going to watch this fight, you know what I mean, because I love boxing. And I'm going to watch this fight. And I know uh, some of my supporters are interested in this fight. So, of course, I will watch this fight and do a post-fight video as well, man. But, you know, it is what it is, man. Hopefully, David Hayes can get his shit together, man, and, and stop hiding those injuries. Actually get in there with a worthy opponent. After what he did to Shannon Bray, I don't know if how many fighters are really taking David Hay that serious, to be honest with you, because you never hear the heavyweights talk about him. Real talk. So to the